Hello and welcome along to creating a scrolling background one page website in Adobe Muse with your host Robert Smith. In this part two we're going to add some content on top of our scrolling background. So to do that the first thing I'm going to do is go to my rectangle tool like that and I'm just going to draw a rectangle out to about like approximately that height about 100 and about 200 pixels high is good. Click on it like that and then click on the 100% to make sure it's 100% width. And I'm also going to fill it with white like that. Very nice. Okay, now this is really, really important. Let's look at the layer structure because things are going to scroll on top of and underneath each other. We really need to get our layer structure right. Okay, now I've only got one layer at the moment. And if you're looking at it, if I scroll this down here, I've got all these rectangles like that. And I've also got this new rectangle as well. So what I want to do is add a new layer. So I'm going to click down here to add a new layer like that. And I'm going to select the rectangle. I can like that. And I'm going to grab it by this little blue thing here and move it up like that. Much as the same as you would in InDesign. Let's rename these layers. So the bottom layer, I'm, I'm, I'll double click on that. And I'll call it Scroll Back. Background like that and OK. I'm going to lock that too now because I'm not going to play with that. And this layer here I'm going to call content. We may add some more layers later. Oops, oops, and OK. Great, so now this rectangle is above the background, it always will be because of this layer structure. OK, let's add a bit of text to it. To do that, I'm going to click on my text tool. I'm just going to drag out a box like this to about that wide. That's about how wide I want my text to be. And I've got some text cut to the clipboard. I'll just paste that in. You can put whatever you like in here. A bit of a cell for your wares, what you've um, got going for you as a graphic designer. I'll just double click on that. Go to my text over here and center that text as well. So now I've got that. Use my smart guides. We love that smart guide to bring it down a bit. I think a little bit more of that white like this. Very nice indeed. So let's have a look at that. Shift Command E. So as I start to scroll, you'll see it looks like uh, the, uh, the white part is rubbing out the blurry part and making it sharp. And that's the sort of illusion we want to create by putting these text boxes here. And that black line there is a little bit annoying, isn't it? So we'll just have a look and see where that is. I might be on the background layer, so I'll go back to my layers, unlock that, click on this and just push it up a little bit with the arrow keys. And let's have a look at that. Ah, that's better. Okay, so this is the look we're after. We're looking for a blurred image like that, some text or maybe a light box. And as we scroll down, it looks like it's actually rubbing it out like that. Very nice indeed. Okay. Let's add some scroll effects to this text. Now, right now, everything's um, either the background's going nowhere, it's just doing the fancy scroll effect using the fill, whereas this one here, um, it's going at the speed of the browser, which is one. They call it one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this rectangle, go to my scroll effects over here, click on motion like that. And what I want to do, I want to put a very subtle scroll. So, it's going to scroll na natively at one. So I'm going to make it in this top box 0.9, so it's just a fraction slower than everything else is scrolling. And I'll put zero in here as well, because I want it to happen straight away. And in here, 0.9 as well. Okay, not nine. We don't want to do it at nine. It might be a bit too quick. Okay, so we've got 0 0.9. You'll notice this is grayed out. That's because we've got 100% width, so it doesn't really matter. So you can't do uh, left or right because it's already 100%. But we can go up and down at just a fraction slower than the normal speed. I'm going to click on the text and do the same thing. Click on motion like this. And 0.9. Like that. This one, 0. This one here, 0 as well. This, this one, 0.9 again. And this one, 0. We don't want to go anywhere left or right. So let's have a look at that. Shift Command E. 
like this, and it's quite subtle, you really, really can't see it. But it tends to hide that um, rubbing out process I spoke of earlier. It's quite a good look. Okay, so we've got some text. Let's add a bit more text to that. So it's, what I'll do, I'll simply select this, hold the shift key down, select both of them, I'll scroll out a bit so I can see it, hold the option key down and click and drag to where the next blurry bit starts, about here, and just put it down there. You don't have to um, have this much text, you can have as much as you like. And let's put some scroll effects on these ones now as well. I'll just check the scroll effects because they're going to be a lot more subtle. So if I click on this one here, it'll tell me it's already got a, a scroll effect. And it's going at 0.9. I'm going to put that in now, just change that to 7, 0.7. And this to 0. And this to 0.7 as well. So it scrolls just a fraction slower. And I'll do the same with the white box. Here 0 0.7, here 0, and here 0 0.7. Like that. Always uh, remind, uh, remember to click in another box because it doesn't tend to uh, accept it until you click into another box. So if I do that, try it again, Shift-Command-E. So there's our first going down. Great. As you can see, this is it's scrolling at a slower speed. Just And as you can see, just here, we have like an opening of a window effect. It's really good if you just, um, most of your contents will scroll at different, but very subtle different speeds like that. Okay, so that's looking good. We've got some content there. Very nice indeed. Now what I might do is, I just, that white's probably a little bit too harsh. So what I might do is select the the white like this, up here under effects, I'll drop it down to about, fairly subtly to about 90% is good, or maybe 85 would be better, I just might type that in, it's easier, 85 like that. Okay, so we can sort of see the background as it scrolls by, so... Shift Command D, let's have a look at that. That's quite subtle. So, Okay, here's the effect we've got. We've got our scrolling background where it changes from blur to sharp. And then we've got some text boxes that are scrolling at different speeds to the browser. The 0.71, as you can see, is a lot slower than the actual 0.91, like that. Okay, there's some text. You can add any sort of content you like doing this. You can add a video, you can add lots more text, imagery, it doesn't matter. Okay, in the next video we'll just add a light box to complete this. Okay, thanks for watching.